President Biden signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act yesterday. This comes after decades of attempts to get anti-lynching laws passed in the U.S. LAX 18's Rachel Richardson is speaking with Lexington leaders about what this act means for the community and others across the country. That is tonight's big story at 5.30. Emmett Till, a black boy, was just 14 years old when he was killed in Mississippi after being accused of whistling at a white woman in 1955. Now, nearly 100 years later, President Joe Biden passed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act that makes lynching a federal hate crime. Racial hate isn't an old problem. It's a persistent problem. Lexington and Fayette County's president of the NAACP and executive director of the Lyric Theater, the center here that celebrates black art, reminds that this isn't the first time an act like this has come up. 200 times that this bill has come forward and um, no one has thought it was as important enough. We've had over 4,000 lynchings from 1877 to 1950-ish. Nearly 100 years after the passing of Emmett Till, many people are asking, is this act being passed too late? That it's not just about single acts, but it's about a system. It's a systemic uh, discrimination and uh, retaliation against people because of their ethnicity. Adrian Wallace, a leader with the Kentucky branch of the NAACP and a mayoral candidate in Lexington, says while lynchings of the past may not occur in the same ways today, there are still issues with unjust deaths of people of color. Where there's no common memory, there could be no true community. And when we understand the history of racism that this country has perpetuated against people of color, this uh, is a necessity. Adrian agrees this passing is late, but not too late as it's an opportunity for communities to come together. Fayette County's NAACP president believes politicians need to now focus on racial disparities and programs that uplift communities. Yes, this anti-lynching bill is 100 plus years too late, but we are still fighting. So don't give up. Continue to hold your politicians and the community leaders to a higher standard. They're continuing to push for equity and justice for all. In Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.